Yes guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to the Dugout Football Channel and welcome to the Champions League Match Week 6. And my goodness me, it is going to be such a nervy night for a few clubs at least. I will give you all the permutations that have to happen in these groups. So, let's have a quick look at how I did last week. Absolutely shocking week for me, has to be said. I only got uh, I only got six points. I only got six points, and I got no perfect scores at all. So, not a good uh, not a good uh, day for me. Uh, but uh, top scorers, uh, there was a tie again in the comments, and that was JB and Shane O'Donnell, both getting 11 points, so very, very well done, JB and Shane O'Donnell. And a wee shout out to JB, who predicted 24-0 to Manchester United against PSG. Wasn't quite that, was it? Uh, but uh, we go into Champions League match week 6, and wow, uh, I mean, uh, this is going to be a very, very nervy, nervy day for sure. Um, so, starting things off, we have the Group F, and this is Lazio, Club Bruges, and Zenit Petersburg, Borussia Dortmund, both of these games starting at 17.55 as well. A win for Lazio over Bruges takes them through, a win for Bruges, and it go that's them that go through, it's them that go through, so... Uh, it will be a very interesting game, and uh, obviously we've got Borussia Dortmund uh, playing Zenit as well. And you know, if Dortmund win, they win the group. So it's it's as simple as that, really. So first game to preview and predict is Lazio against Club Bruges. Now, obviously Lazio came off the way with a one-one draw over Dortmund the other night. Club Bruges three 0 winners over Zenit St. Petersburg. Very, very well done to Club Bruges to win that. Uh, so very, very well done to them for sure. Um, really, really hard one to call, as I've said. Uh, this was a 1-1 draw between the sides in Belgium. Uh, so I'm going to say that because it's in Italy, I'm actually going to say that Lazio will win this game and Lazio will be going through uh, the, in this, in this, uh, in this group, Lazio will be going through as a second-placed team, I think. So I'm going to go Lazio two, Club Bruges one. So that would mean that uh, Lazio would go through, and Club Bruges would go into the Europa League uh, as well. Um, Zenit St. Petersburg, Borussia Dortmund. Zenit lost three 0 to Club Bruges the last game week, and Borussia Dortmund was a one-one draw. As well, it's not been a very good Champions League for Zenit. You have to say, I I had high hopes for them. I really, really did. I had high hopes for them, um, but do you know what? It's one of those things for for Zenit, and unfortunately, it's going to be that way as well. Borussia Dortmund have had a very good Champions League group stage, so I'm going to say Borussia Dortmund will come away with a win against Zenit, and that would be uh, Borussia Dortmund winning the group with uh, 13 points and Lazio going through with 10 points. So I'm going to say Zenit 1, Borussia Dortmund 2. So it would be Dortmund and Lazio both going through. Um, now, not really much to decide in Chelsea's group. Um, uh, obviously, the Europa League is, obviously, of course. Uh, but you have to say that, uh, you know, barring an 11-goal swing... In this group, Chelsea will win the group. Okay, Chelsea will be group winners. Sevilla will be going through as second place. Chelsea play FC Krasnodar. Well done to FC Krasnodar for getting their first win of the group stage, but it's just come a little bit too late for them. Um, really hard. I, as I've said, it's uh, Chelsea four 0 winners over Sevilla. I thought that was a fantastic performance from Chelsea. Olivier Giroud. This is one of the most. Uh, disrespected strikers on the planet right now is Olivier Giroud. The guy scores goals wherever he's been. Arsenal, Montpellier, Chelsea, you name it. He scores goals. He scores goals and um, he was very, very good that game. Uh, so, Chelsea, I'm going to go for Chelsea to win their final home game of the group stage. Chelsea 4 Krasnodar nil, and that would that would mean that Chelsea would win the group as well. Ren against Sevilla. Um, Ren, obviously, you know, I think looking at the looking at the table, Krasnodar are third right now uh, as well. Um, so I think they would just hang on to the Europa League 
spot. Wren, you know, it's been been a bit bit of a difficult group pass to be said for them. Um, but Sevilla, I mean, four 0 defeat to Chelsea, but they were already through as well, so not not too much damage done. For sure. Uh, so I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Sevilla against Ren in this one. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Sevilla. And that would mean Chelsea through as group winners. Sevilla second. Krasnodar third. And Ren fourth. Uh, not much to choose in this group either. Barcelona against Juventus. Messi versus Ronaldo. Well, will they both play? That would be interesting to see. But uh, Barcelona come up the back of a 3-0 win over Ferenc Varos. Juventus 3-0 win over Dynamo Kiev. Both of these sides are through. Um, I'm going to say it's going to be a draw. I'm going to say it's going to be a draw at the new Camp. I'm going to say a 1-1 draw between Barcelona and Juventus. And Barcelona would win the group. Juventus would be second as well. Uh, Dynamo Kiev, Ferenc Varos. Obviously, both of these sides coming off the back of heavy defeats in the last game week. Uh, I'm going to say Dynamo Kiev will win this one. Both sides looking for their first win. For sure, only a win, uh, uh, only a win for Ferenc Varos would take them into the Europa League. A draw would take Dynamo Kiev through, uh, or a win would take Dynamo Kiev through. So I'm going to go for two one two Dynamo Kiev. So that group would finish Barcelona, Juventus, Dynamo Kiev, and Ferenc Varos. And this is the very interesting group for sure. It is Group H. My goodness me, PSG, 9 points, Manchester United, 9 points, RB Leipzig, 9 points, Istanbul Basak Share, 3 points. So, yeah, both we have to say that um, Istanbul are out, so there's no denying that, but it's, it's down to the final 3 now. Um, I think PSG will get the job done against Istanbul Basak Share. PSG played really well against Manchester United in the last game. Istanbul lost uh, 4-3 classic to um, you know RB Leipzig, so that was very, very good. So, going to go for PSG to win this one, and I think they will win the group as well. So, PSG 3 Istanbul Basak Share 0. I'm going to go for and that would yeah, that would mean PSG win the group. RB Leipzig against Manchester United is the other game as well. Really, really difficult one to call because Leipzig are very, very good in, at home in Germany, you'd have to say. Manchester United, they've obviously proven that they can pl win away from home. They have beaten uh, PSG in this group stage as well. Only a draw would be enough to, for Manchester... A draw or a win for Manchester United is enough to take them through. RB Leipzig have to win because of the goal difference between uh, Manchester United and uh, and Leipzig. So, I am going to go for a draw. And a draw would mean Manchester United would go through in this group. So, I'm going to say a 2-2 draw between RB Leipzig and Manchester United. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. That would be PSG winning the group and Manchester United going through as well. So we have uh, Liverpool's group now to uh, finish as Ajax against Atalanta. Only a, a win for Ajax would take them through. A draw for Atalanta or a win would take them through alongside Liverpool and Ajax would drop into the Europa League as well. Um, Ajax, I mean, they played well against Liverpool. Unlucky to get uh, beaten on the day. Atalanta, surprise 1-1 one, one draw with Michelond. Um, but, uh, yeah, this this is a big, big game. I'm going to say a 1-1 one, one draw between Ajax and Atalanta, and that would take Atalanta through as well. Uh, FC Michelond against Liverpool, well... This game, Liverpool can afford to, you know, play a very, very young side uh, against Michelond. Uh, going to be a very interesting game. This game is supposed to be played at uh, the uh, Signal Iduna Park um, because of, obviously, uh, Denmark having a rise in COVID cases. So, as far as I'm aware, this game is being played at, um, at the Signal Iduna Park. So... Yeah, Liverpool going back to Dortmund, Klopp going back to Dortmund, but uh, Seamus is not in front of any fans, you'd have to say. Uh, but I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Liverpool. Uh, I'm going to say a 2-0 win to Liverpool. Bayern Munich against Lokomotiv Moscow. Um, now, Bayern 
basically they've won the group anyway. They've got 13 points and uh, Atletico Madrid have got 6 and um, Leipzig, uh, sorry, Salzburg have got 4 points as well. So Bayern Munich, uh, Lokomo Moscow, pretty comfortable win, win for Bayern Munich. I'm going for a 4-0 win to Bayern Munich. Now, this is the interesting one. RB Salzburg versus Atletico Madrid. Only a win for Salzburg would take them through. A draw or a win for Atletico takes them through. Believe it or not, I'm going to go for a shock here. I am actually going to go for a shock here. I'm going RB Salzburg to go through this group I'll with Bayern Munich. I think Atletico Madrid have not been good enough in the Champions League this season. I am going to go for a 2-1 win to RB Salzburg and that would take Salzburg through and put Atletico Madrid in the Europa League. That would be huge for Diego Simeone's team uh, to be drafted into the Europa League. Uh, and this is a very interesting group, this one as well. This is not decided at all. Borussia Mönchengladbach 8, Shakhtar Donetsk 7, Real Madrid 7 and Inter Milan 5. So... Inter Milan have to beat Shakhtar to have any chance to get through into this group. And they must hope uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach beat Real Madrid as well. So, uh, this game, Inter Milan, I am going to go for a 1-1 draw. And that would take Shakhtar through. That would take Shakhtar through. Uh, the other game is Real Madrid against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Now, Real Madrid have never exited the group stage of the Champions League. I'm going to say now. It's going to be the first time ever. I think Borussia Mönchengladbach. Are going to beat Real Madrid. And Real Madrid are going to drop. Into the Europa League. I think Real Madrid are going to drop. Into the Europa League. Real Madrid 1. Borussia Mönchengladbach 2. I am going to go for. So that would mean Borussia Mönchengladbach would win the group. And Shakhtar would go through second. Who would have predicted those two. Real Madrid and Inter Milan not qualifying out of that group. I don't think anyone would have been able to have done that. So I'm going to say that as well. And obviously we have group, uh, we've got group C as well. Nothing really to decide here. Basically, it's only about Europa League now. And uh, obviously Olympiacos and Marseille have both won a game uh, as well. Uh, Man City have got Marseille. And only really a draw for Marseille against Man City would take them through to the Europa League. Olympiacos are sitting, I think, third right now. So I'm going to go for Man City to win this one by four goals to nil. Uh, and that would be obviously Man City winning the group. And then Olympiacos Porto, I'm going to go for a 1-0 win to FC Porto. And that would put FC Porto second as well. But Man City Porto already qualified, of course. So, so... That is it. That is Champions League Match Week 6 done and dusted. A little bit uh, longer video this uh, today. But uh, I just wanted to give you all these sort of the permutations of all these uh, all these games for sure. So I'll go for my predictions very, very quickly. Leave your predictions in the comment section down below. And like um, JB and Shane O'Donnell, you will get a shout out in the next video. So Lazio 2, Club Bruges 1. Zenit 1, Borussia Dortmund 2. Chelsea 4, Krasnodar 0, Ren 1, Sevilla 2, Barcelona 1, Juventus 1, Dynamo Kiev 2, Ferenc Varos 1, PSG 3, Istanbul Basics here 0, RB Leipzig 2, Manchester United 2, Ajax 1, Atalanta 1, FC Michelon 0, Liverpool 2, Bayern Munich 4, Lokomotiv Moscow 0, Salzburg 2, Atletico Madrid 1, Inter Milan 1, Shakhtar Donetsk 1, Real Madrid 1, Borussia Mönchengladbach 2, Manchester City 4, Marseille 0 and Olympiacos 0, FC Porto 1. So that is it, that is Champions League Match Week 6 done and dusted and the group stage will be finished and join me next Monday for a live sort of stream for the draw for the last round of 16. I look forward to doing that for sure. I'm looking forward to doing that for sure. But uh, until then, it's goodbye from me. And uh, we shall see what happens in these games. A lot to still be decided. It's going to be very, very exciting. Going to be very, very nervy for all those teams involved. But we'll see what happens as well. But uh, until then, it's goodbye from me. Thank you very much for watching. If you do like this content, please hit that subscribe button. Smash the like on this video as well. And we'll see what happens for the games 
coming up. It's going to be a cracker. I'm pretty sure we'll see some nervy moments. And I'm looking forward to it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Enjoy. Match week six. Going to be interesting. See you later. Bye-bye.